Hi Leo, this is your channel messages for the 29th of September. I am your host Vanessa Carby, psychic medium, spiritual practitioner, and tarot reader. Let's go ahead and go into your message. Let's go, go. Who's next? Go, go. Let's see who's next. You have come visit me in one way. Mia tried one away. Tell haters them for stray. Okay, so I'm getting one way. Come visit me. Okay, but one way might mean a one way ticket. You're going, but you're not coming back. I, hello? Hello? I'm inside the radio. Hello? Can you do me a favor? Tell me, mom, I'm gone to zip 103 and I'm not coming back. Okay, I'm getting anywhere you're going. You're not coming back. This looks like a one way ticket, a tower. Okay, I'm getting that's going to make somebody angry. Are me getting when you go this destination, you're not gonna come back because a tower going to strike you. Could be one or the other, Leo. We have to take a break. Me getting somebody I invite you to come somewhere with them. Me getting I'll be stranded or stuck at this location, and it's gonna prevent you from showing up to work. I guess we have profit. Or maybe somebody want you to relocate and do your work in a different country. Somebody want to take a break from these haters. By the way, I hear Drake say um. Um, I'm holding song with Trixie. Trixie, um, hips on your waist, front way, back way. You know that I don't play. Streets not safe, but I never run away. Even when I'm away, OT, OT. There's never much love when we go OT. This is in why Drake had to leave Canada. This is why the weekend left Canada. This is why Justin Bieber had to go and, and all the way. He had to immigrate all the way over there where the sugar is processed, right? He had to go all the way over there because every time Drake comes to OT, there's never much love when Drake comes to OT, Ontario, Toronto. OT, OT, there's never much love when we go OT. Drake, me and you, me, there's never much love here. Unemployment is skyrocketing. I ask the people about the homeless crisis, and every time the homeless gather at 129 Peter Street, Drake, them come with them cameras. We want a change. We're asking the government for a change. No, sir, you don't want camera time. I better you didn't get one agent to get a camera time. All right, okay. So I realize this Ontario, Toronto, OT, OT. There's never much love when Drake come to OT. I pray I make it back in one piece. I pray, I pray, I pray to Drake, my pray so I make it out of here in one piece. Because between the fucking stabbings that is happening in Ontario, Toronto, and between the whole epidemic with the fucking overdoses with the paraphernalia, and if that's not it, um, some way, girl, either way you take it, either way you fucking take it, Drake. I, I, I hope I go home safe too. Anyways, let's just go ahead and go into your reading. Mm -hmm. One way is a ton of pentacles, a lot of money. I'm getting, yeah, leave. You're getting a better job opportunity somewhere else. You gone. Maybe you're going to be closer to family, friends, or I'm getting you're going to be welcome into a new family or a new, it could be a new, um, higher, um, New business, like you get employment, but I'm getting it. This is family. It's family, okay? You'll be protected like State Farm, okay? Ten of Pentacles. There's also something you might get dogs. I'm getting something about brother and sister dogs. You get two dogs, they're my brother and sister. One is a girl, one is a boy. We're getting the same exact dogs or something like that. The prophet is the emperor. So I'm getting something about an Aries, this man. This man, why you come work for him? I'm getting my offer you a lot of money. Um, I'm not sure what he... I'm getting a man here live alone. Him live with two dogs. He might have another odd animal. Okay. Come visit me is the Libra. Wow. Yeah, somebody going to offer you a legal contract. They're not going to say, come baby, come and pay your rent. And then when you pay your rent and then find out, say, I don't know, something never right. Them stop paying your rent. Landlord kick you out. Jesus Christ, you're at 129 Peter Street all over a fucking again. After you invest so much money when the man tell you for come. <laughs> so me getting somebody gonna make you a contract, come visit me. One way. Somebody asks you for come far, come to a meeting. The person already know that they're going to hire you. They already have every single thing that you're going to do into the, in this business set up for you. Let's see what the tower is. Because I think I think bitches are going to be mad. Yeah, the ace of cups. Take a break. It's a knight of cups. Now, I do feel like this opportunity is based on the feelings towards you. Something might be contractual, yes, but me getting, um, even though you signed the job to agree to not sexually harass your employees, you're secretly making that employee stay over hours so that you can sexually harass them, right? Come see, you're doing something to please, please this man. 
or you want this man to take a break. Now, if you're a woman, I don't know if you're going to get employed in the same company as somebody else. I'm getting you're going to make more money than the man. I'm seeing you offering him a beverage. I'm getting you a work more hours than the man. I'm getting you to pay a lot of money though. So what do you want, huh? Do you, do you want money or do you want comfort? What the f do you want? Because I'm getting, I'm getting one can rest while one work. I'm getting an opportunity going hit you out of nowhere. It's a pay a lot. Leo, this is love. This is like a lot. This is good news. I'm not saying nothing bad about this. Let me draw two more though. I'm getting contractual. So you're protected. Right? You're the ace of ones. Yeah, new opportunity. We have two aces. I'm getting a something you're love though. You're gonna love it. You're passionate about it. One more. And the hangman. Maybe this is something you have no experience in doing. You never did this before. I'm getting the emperor feel like you are trainable. I'm, somebody might also own a U-Haul. Every time I see the emperor with this lamb, I think about U-Haul. Is Kai, Kai Sanat still living in a U-Haul? Is he still doing that? Hmm? Is he? On the dirty fuckers? No matter how much money Kai have, for just show you, if dirty fuckers hate you, they fucking hate you. Now how you going to evict Kai out of him fucking mansion? Because your blood clot vex that little, little young, young people could afford for rent somewhere like that. And discrimination and like Kai twi um, um, left, right and fucking center because I know him couldn't find a proper place for stream. That mean a landlord no one you live where them live. Why? And Kai smart. He's not so-called investing in money in real estate and, and, and trying to buy properties and all of that. He's not the Tatum brothers. So why is it that nobody no one Kai stream from them house? Yes, it loud. Okay. Um, and nobody complain about PDD parties. Nobody complain about the oil room in PDD basement parties. Cause them loud, them streaming. I cause them I make enough money and them don't have to leave them house. Kai don't even have to take a shower to be very fucking honest. Let us let us talk, right? And them vex. Cause them I watch it. Why I can't get nowhere for leave and they have so much money? What is this? Anyways, I'm going to leave it here, Leo. Until next time, bye.